Hi friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. In this class, we will learn how to check 11 function and how we will write solution for 11 function. There are so much confusion. Many students confuse while writing solution for 11 function. How to write the solution for 11 function? For problem to problem, sometimes it varies. Every time we won't follow the same procedure for 11 function. These two are the best examples how we write solution of 11 function. Please watch this video till the end, then I'll guarantee you that you will never confuse while writing solution for 11 function. You see this function f of x equal to x square. How the function is defined? f is defined from natural number to natural numbers. The function domain is natural numbers. Function codomain is also natural number. And the function is given as f of x equal to x square. Function is from natural numbers to natural numbers. And given that f of x equal to x square. You observe this function. This function is set of all integers to integers. And given that f of x equal to x square. Okay. First, we'll come to this first one. Is this function is 1 1 function? What is the definition of 1 1 function? Different elements in set A have different images in set B. You take any two natural numbers. You take any two natural numbers. Their images are also different. I want to confuse you here. You please do not confuse. Please watch this till the end. You take two natural numbers 1 comma 2. Both are natural numbers. Yes, 1 comma 2, both are natural numbers. What is image of 1? f of 1. f of 1 is 1 square. 1 square is 1. f of 2. f of 2 is what? f of 2 is 2 square. 2 square equal to 4. 1 comma 2 are different natural numbers. Their images are also different. 1 comma 4 are different or not? Yes. Different numbers are having different images. From this, can we say that the function is 1 1? What is the definition of 1 1 function? Different elements in set A have different images in set B. Here, I consider different elements. Their images are also different. From this, can we say that the function is 1 1 function? No, we cannot say like this the function is 1 1 function. You have to check for every pair of numbers in domain set, their images also different in codomain set. By taking like this, we cannot say that this function is 1 1 function. If you write 1 comma 2 belongs to n, uh, that implies uh, their images are also different. Therefore, the function is 1 1. If you write like that, it is 100% wrong. Why? Because you come to the second example. You see here, uh, z. Z means integer. You observe here, 1 is integer na? Yes. 2 is also integer na? So same thing we can write here. f of x is x square na here also. What happened? For the same example, we can say that this is also 1 1. But actually, this second example is not 1 1. We'll discuss more clearly. Please watch this video till the end. By taking such type of examples, we cannot say that function is 1 1. When you are saying function is 1 1, you have to be very careful. When you are saying function is not 1 1, at the time this type of things works. At the time this type of things works. For example, this is not 1 1. Why it is not 1 1? I'll consider two integers. 2 minus 2. Both are integers or not? Yes. 2 and minus 2. Both are integers. What is image of 2? Image of 2 means f of 2. What is f of 2? f of 2 is 2 square. 2 square equal to 4. What is f of minus 2? f of minus 2 is minus 2 whole square. As square is there, minus will become 2 square is 4. You observe here, different elements are having same image. What is the definition of 1 1 function? Different elements in set A must have different images in set B. But what happened here? Different elements in set A have same image in set B. What it tells? It tells that the function is not 1 1. So what I'll write here? Different elements in set A. What the reason we'll write here? Different elements 2 comma minus 2 have same image. 
different elements 2 comma minus 2 have same image but as per the definition different elements must have different images because of this reason we say that f from set of all integers to integers is not 1 1 not 1 1 okay when the function is not 1 1 if you write the answer like this it works this is 100% correct but when the function is 1 1 function at the time you cannot write the answer like this how to write answer when the function is 1 1 function you see here how we write the solution for this actually this function is 1 1 function because you take any two different natural numbers you take any any two different natural numbers when we square them their images are also different but while writing the solution you cannot take some example 3 comma 4 are natural numbers 3 square is 9 4 square is 16 natural numbers two different natural numbers are having different images that's why this function is 1 1 you cannot write like that we'll follow the standard procedure to write the solution for 1 1 function what is that standard procedure first i'll consider f of x1 equal to f of x2 while checking 1 1 function what is the standard procedure we'll follow we'll consider f of x1 equal to f of x2 we will simplify this at the end if we will get x1 equal to x2 then we say that the function is 1 1 function what is f of x1 f of x1 is x1 square f of x is x square now f of y is y square f of z is z square f of x1 is x1 square equal to f of x2 f of x2 is what f of x2 is x2 square right so i'll apply square root to this on both sides apply square root to this on both sides what you will get x1 square equal to square root of x2 square you observe here x1 is a natural number x1 is a natural number x1 x2 both are natural numbers as x1 is a natural number x1 square is also natural number as x2 is a natural number x2 square is also natural number here there is no question of x1 x2 are negative as x1 x2 are natural numbers they clearly positive from this what you will get you will get that x1 equal to x2 so finally what we proved here we consider that the images are same from this we proved that the elements are also same that is the meaning of this statement f of x1 equal to f of x2 implies x1 equal to x2 when you are able to say this then we say that the function f is 1 1 so you observe here only the domain and codomains are different the function is given as f of x equal to x square in both the problems in this problem the function is 1 1 when it is 1 1 we not taken some example when it is 1 1 you cannot write the solution like this you have to follow the standard procedure you take f of x1 equal to f of x2 and you simplify it if you got x1 equal to x2 then we say that the function is 1 1 whenever the function is not 1 1 you feel happy and you give the example for these two elements the images are same that's why the function is not 1 1 I hope you are understanding when the function is 1 1 you have to be very careful and you should follow this procedure you cannot give some counter example when the function is not 1 1 by giving counter example because of this reason this function is not 1 1 we can say I hope you understand this class I hope you understand this class if you like this video please share it with your friends if you are not yet subscribed to my youtube channel Subscribe now. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.